friends welcome back to my channel ibrahim's world vision after a long time we are going to do a project few months ago i did an iot smart home project in which we can control any electronic appliances from any part of the world whether the a device which we are controlling is android or ios we can control it from any part of the world and before that i also did an uh, home automation video with arduino nano in that it can be controlled only with android device and i thought what will the ios users do so for that here we are going to do one project if you are watching my channel for the first time please subscribe and click the bell icon so that it will notify you whenever i upload the video now let us see the connections before doing the connections we will see what are the components required an arduino nano with a mini breadboard and then bluetooth module this bluetooth module is better than hc05 as it has long range and it can be controlled from ios device and android device and it is better than the hc05 5 volt relay open socket male to female jumper wires coding cable to code the arduino nano a device to control the project and the device to code the project and i am also using a tube guide so uh, you can also use whatever appliances you want for showing purpose now i am using this led tube guide now let us start the connections take the hm10 bluetooth module connect the cc and gnd vcc of the hm10 bluetooth module goes to pin pin of the arduino nano and the gnd to the gnd let us connect the rxd and txt pin rxd of the hm10 bluetooth module goes to the txd <coughs> of the arduino nano txd of the hm10 bluetooth module goes to the rxd of the arduino nano we need to connect it opposite from txd to rxd and rxd to txd now the connection of the bluetooth module is done now let us do it for the relay now for the relay v plus pin to the vin pin of the arduino nano and the g which is the ground to the ground of the arduino nano and the in pin which is the input pin goes to d13 of the arduino nano now we have finished the connection of the relay and the hm10 bluetooth module now let us connect this pair of the led tube light to the relay now as i have cut two of the wires connect one of the wire which is going to the power supply in the between of the relay and let us tighten it and the one wire which is going to the led tube light goes to this n o pin which is the normally open pin now we have done the connection so we need to connect the main two power supply pin here to this socket connect this wire from the tube tube light to this pin socket now i connected all the connection now let us do the coding for doing the coding you need to remove this txd and rxd pin from the hm10 bluetooth module if you don't remove it it won't upload the coding now for the coding let us open the arduino ide and to download it you need to just go to the chrome and type for arduino.cc and it will take you to this page and after coming here you need to you need to click on software and in the windows you need to select the proper proper one for me i am selecting this uh, win 10 if you are using a linux you are you need to click this and for mac os this i am just clicking it and click on just download and after few minutes it will download in my case i have already downloaded it so let me open it it will open in few minutes and this is the code of the project now let us go to the tools select arduino nano to show the uh, serial port which is com7 
For me, it is showing COM7. It might differ in your device, but in the starting, it would be uh, mentioned as COM. And the processor is Atmega old boot, Atmega 328P old booter, bootloader. You can choose whatever you want according to your Arduino Nano. Now let us upload it. And in few seconds, it would get uploaded. Now let us connect back the TXD and the RXD. The RXD goes to the TXD of the Nano. The TXD goes to the RXD of the Nano. Now, after the coding is completed, we need to connect the uh, LED tube lights power socket to the main supply and the Arduino Nano's power to the main supply. To control it, we need to open an app. I am using an Apple device because this video is for the Apple users. And go to App Store. And here, search for Dabble. Now, when you click it, here an app occurs. That is Dabble Bluetooth controller. Download it. And few seconds, it will download. Now, click on Open. And give Allow, Allow to enable the Bluetooth. Now, it will be ready in few seconds click on ok got it and in top there would be an icon which is like a plug so click it and here it will display you the bt05 connect it and go to the terminal here let us allow if to on we need to uh, type the value 1 and see here the light is turned on to off there is some loose connection and to off, click 0. See, it is turned off. Now, let us try again. 1 to turn on. And 0 to turn off. And if we give any other values, it don't work. Because in the code, whichever value we have mentioned, it will only work at that value. And if we want to give any other value, we can give it. For my case, I give 1, 0. I hope you like the project. Please subscribe my channel uh, to uh, so that it would motivate me to do more videos like this and like this video so that I would do more projects and whenever I do videos it will notify you if you subscribe my channel. Please subscribe. Bye.